video, me and my friends, we produce to you about one of the electromagnetic application, which is optical fiber. And optical fiber, according to the book's essential of electromagnetics, pages 675, is a dielectric waveguide operating at the optical frequency. It is very popular transmission medium in recent times. Although optical fiber is more expensive and is used mainly for point-to-point -point things, there has been a rapid changeover from box and vision pair to optical fibers for tele telecommunication systems, instrumentation, cable TV networks, industrial automation, and data transmission systems. History of Fiber Optic In 27 BC, Romans draw glass into fiber. In 1840, Jacobs Babinet guides light in water and bend glass roads. In 1888, Dr. Ruth and Roos use bent glass road to illuminate body cavities for medical purpose. In 1920, microscope illumination achieved using bent glass roads. In 1931, mass production of glass fiber conceived and first discussion of using transparent cladding on glass or plastic fiber is on 1951. In 1959, American optical draw fiber so fine they can only transmit a single mode of light. In 1960, first laser demonstrated. In 1970, Coming developed single mode fiber with losses of 17 dB per kilometer. In 1977, Bell Labs extrapolate 100 year lifetime for diode lasers. In 1980, fiber system carries video signal for leg classic winter Olympic. In 1981, Canada trials fiber optics to homes in Manitoba. In 1982, MCI prepares to lay single mode fiber from Washington to New York. In 1984, first fiber optic submarine cable led to Isle of Reach. In 1988, Tarts Air becomes operational as first transatlantic fiber optic cable. In 1996, 1 trillion bits per second transmit over single mode fiber. In 1997, Flex or fiber optic link around the globe is around 28,000 km, became the longest single cable network in the world and provided the infrastructure for the next generation of internet application. Application of fiber optic Today, fiber optic is used in cable for many methods of networking which use metallic wire. Some of the most popular uses of fiber optic cables which are the first one is internet. Fiber optic used as material for internet cable to transmit large amount of data at very high speed. The second one is computer networking. Networking between computer in a single building or across nearby structure is made easier and faster with the use of fiber optic. The third one is surgery and dentistry. Fiber optic cables are widely used in the field of medicine and research. Optical communication is an important part of non-intrusive surgical methods, which known as endoscopic. In such application, a bright light is used to light up the surgery area within the body, making it possible to reduce the number and size of incision mat. Fiber optics are also used in microscopy and biomedical research. The fourth one is telephone. Calling telephone within or outside the country has never been so easy. With the use of fiber optic communication, you can connect faster and have clear conversation without any lagging. The last one is cable television. The use of fiber optic cable in the transmission of cable signal has grown explosively over the year. These cables are ideal for transmitting signal 
for high definition television because they have greater bandwidth and speed. Also, fiber optic is also cheaper than copper wire. That's all for application of fiber optic. The optical fiber is a device which works on the principle of total internal reflection by which light signals can be transmitted from one place to another with a negligible loss of energy. When a ray of light is incident on the core of the optical fiber at a small angle, it suffers refraction and strikes the core cladding interface. As the diameter of the fiber is very small, hence the angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle. Therefore, the ray suffers total internal reflection at the core cladding interface and strikes the opposite interface. At this interface also, the angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle, so it again suffers total internal reflection. Thus, the ray of light reaches the other end of the fiber after suffering repeated total internal reflection along the length of the fiber. At the other end, the ray suffers refraction and emerges out of the optical fiber. We can see that the light travels in the core in a guided manner. Hence, the communication through the optical fiber is sometimes referred as an optical waveguide. The light in a fiber optic cable travels through the core, which is hallway, by constantly bouncing from the cladding, which is mirror line walls. A principle called total internal reflection, because the cladding doesn't absorb any light from the core, the light wave can travel great distances. A ray of light entering the core will be internally reflected when incident in the density medium and the angle of incident is greater than a critical value. Thus, a light ray is reflected back into the original medium and the process is, re is repeated as light passes down the core. This form of propagation is multimodal, referring to the variety of angles that will reflect. It causes the signal to spread out in time and limits the rate at which data can be accurately received. When the radius of the core is reduced, a single mode propagation occurs. This eliminates distortion. A fiber optic system is similar to a conventional transmission system. A fiber optic system consists of a transmitter, a transmission medium, and a receiver. The transmitter accepts and converts to optical signals electrical signals input in analog or digital form. The transmitter sends the optical signal by modulating the output of a light source, which is usually an LED or a laser, by varying its intensity. The optical signal is transmitted over the optical fiber to a receiver. At the receiver, the optical signal is converted back into an electrical signal by a photodiode. The performance of a fiber optic link depends on the numerical aperture and it, attenuation and dispersion characteristics of the fiber. As signals propagate through the fiber, they become distorted Now, we will look on formula in fiber optical. As you can see, there are two focus things in application of the fiber optics. The first one will be numerical aperture and the second one is attenuation. In numerical aperture, the important subject is the refractive index and many formula listed uh, come from the Snell law formula. In attenuation, which is the reduction in the power of the optical signal, the important subject will be the distance itself. In order to understand more, we will look at the example 12.9. You may pause to understand the question. For the solution A, we use the formula sin theta equals to Na equals to 0 0.21. Then we will get the theta equals to 12.12 degree. For the solution B, we use the formula Na equals to square root N1 square minus N2 square. Then we will get the answer will be 1.606 for N2. Then C we will use the formula 
volume which is v equals to pi d and a over lambda then we will get 65.973 we use the formula n equals to v square over 2 to know the modes which is 2176 mod